you know, I've been doing this stuff a long time and uh, I find it fun, <laughs> oddly, to change up my workout program. Sometimes it's from a need to adapt, sometimes just because I want something fresh. Um, this is a pretty straightforward, effective four day workout program that I think you'll like. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 plus fitness journey. Okay, today I want to talk about my new four day workout program. This is primarily a tale of adaptation. Now my previous video, which I will link down in the description, it was um, concerning my um, deadlift and squat debacle and i'm having some issues with some with my deadlifts and squats affecting my equilibrium and so forth and so on which i discussed in that video you can watch that if you want but the bottom line here is that um, i'm going to stop squatting and deadlifting for a while temporarily i hope and as an adaptation to that i'm going to have to modify my workout program now for the last three or four months i've been using a six day workout split whereupon i would rest on the seventh day and i will also link that video discussing the six day workout program down in the description and up here in the corner um that workout program was primarily designed for me to help me increase my squat weight and my deadlift weight. And it was working great and it was a good, great program. But as I say, you know, sometimes we run into issues and, and you know, little, little bumps in the road where we need to adapt. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adapt. And that's what this new four day workout program is about. So let me show you the a brief overview of this four day workout program. I'm not going to get down into the weeds too deeply, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. And then we'll uh, catch back up at the end and kind of tie it all together. All right, let's go look at this four day workout program. All right, so let's get into this bad boy. Now this is not exactly rocket science. This is just your basic old four day workout split. And if you've been around me for a while, you know I like to, I like to change up my workouts anyway. So having to do this is not really that big of a trauma for me and I'm kind of looking forward to it actually. So I've divided this up into day one, just arbitrarily, legs. Day two, chest, triceps, calves. And day three, back, biceps. Day four, shoulders and calves. Now I'll get into this in a little more detail as we go through this and uh, show you how exactly I'm going to implement this. So let's Now, um, for this four-day workout split, each set is going to be comprised of 10 to 12 reps. And that's going to be in the RPE range of probably eight. RPE meaning rate of perceived effort on a scale of one to 10. 10 being mean, a 10 meaning you couldn't have possibly done another rep. So I want to do these in like the eight RPE range. I want to go close to failure, but not failure. Have a weight that I can do 10 to 12 reps on. And by and large, it's going to be nine to 12 sets per body part. And that's going to, uh, you know, that's going to be modifiable, if that's a word, to um, fit how I feel, um, whether I think I need some extra rest or recuperation. Um, you know, but basically it's going to be 9 to 12 sets per body part at 10 to 12 reps. And I'm going to rotate through this four-day cycle twice and then rest on day nine. So I'll do legs, chest, back, shoulders and then legs, chest, back, shoulders, and then rest on day nine. Again, you know, um, depending on how you feel or how I feel, I'll uh, modify this a little bit if, as needed. I, you know, if, if, the, if my schedule gets askew, I can, I can throw a rest day in whenever I want. 
but by and large that's what i'm going to do 10 to 12 reps per set 9 to 12 sets per body part and rotate through twice and rest on day nine now let's look at day one legs okay so let's start this thing off with day one which just arbitrarily happens to be happens to be legs now this differs from my six day workout program in that on the six day workout program I had I was doing legs every seventh day and it was primarily focused on squats and improving my squats heavy squats followed with with a little bit of uh, hypertrophy work for my quadriceps here the back squats are out of the equation I'm going to focus on hypertrophy work primarily again in the 8 to 12 rep range 6 to 9 sets per body part and I'm not going to do every one of these uh, on each um, you know each leg session obviously but I am going to start with front squats never done front squats I'm going to start incorporating these to see if putting the barbell in the front the front on my shoulders as opposed to my back will help my equilibri equilibrium issue uh, and it uh, should be comical. <laughs> I've never done these before, but I, I will have a video of the first attempt, and you will see that. Front squats, and then I'll um, throw in some hack squats. I love hack squats. Belt squats I want to do more of, too. Uh, those things are awesome. Uh, Bulgarian, Bulgarian split squats is like a finishing movement. Lunges also. Leg extensions. I always finish with leg extensions. So that's going to be the quadricep work I'll pick from these. And as I said, start with front squats. That's going to be a hoot. And then hamstring work. I want to do some, uh, start doing more Romanian deadlifts. These are excellent, excellent uh, hamstring movements. And uh, it's an excellent compound movement too. And it's good for the posterior chain. So I want to start doing that. And, uh, you know, variations on leg curls, laying leg, lying leg curls, uh, seated leg curls, isolation leg curls, maybe even hyperextension type of work. But, uh, that's it. That is a quick and dirty overview of day one legs. Alrighty, day two, chest, triceps, and calves. And this is all pretty self-explanatory, as I said. <laughs> so on chest day, we're going to do or include something from this list here. And what I'm going to do here is focus on some uh, machine movements. I'm going to take bench press out of the equation as well as squats and deadlifts. I'm not a big fan of bench presses, never have been. Um, and just focus on some machine work like flat chest press machines, uh, incline chest press machines. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep my incline dumbbell presses in here. And then uh, cable flies, push-ups. I love to finish up with push-ups and uh, dips. Uh, I've been uh, I've been done dips in a while, so I might start including those too. But again, you know, it's going to be um, nine sets per body part. So I won't pick every one of these every time, obviously. And again, we're going to do them in the eight to twelve rep range, um, and then move on to triceps. And here, um, this kind of seems obvious doing triceps on chest day, push day. Um, as opposed to having a you know a totally separate arm day, I'm going to do chest and triceps, and I'm going to include there things like overhead dumbbell extensions that can be the two-handed version or single arm um, dumbbell tricep extensions, um, cable push downs with a straight bar. I like those cable kickbacks. Um, one thing I didn't list here was uh, skull crushers. That's something else. Uh, matter of fact, I need to remind myself to do that and put that on the list here because I like skull crushers. Um, those are excellent tricep builders as well. And I'm going to finish up with some calf work. I'm going to do some high rep calf work. So this is going to be outside the 8 to 12 rep range uh, setup. And I'll, but, but I will do three sets of uh, 20 to 30 reps of like standing calf raises or the seated calf raises, that type of thing. So there it is, chest day, day two. Okay, moving on, day three, back and biceps. Again, just like on chest and tricep day, I'm gonna do biceps on a pole day, the back day. Now, 
I am going to, without a doubt, on every one of my back days, I'm going to focus on pull-ups. Pull-ups are one of the best movements for me in developing my back. I've always had great success doing pull-ups, and I'm going to continue with that. I'm going to do a minimum of 50 and as few as sets as possible, and I'm going to do each set two failures. So that's a little bit different. Again, it's outside the 8 to 12 rep general rule, uh, but I'm still going to you know, keep to the nine sets per body part. And again, I'm going to pick from movements such as a T-bar row. I like that. Nice heavy T-bar row, seated cable rows, uh, seated cable pull downs, you know, vertical pulls there. Um, the, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, hammer strength ma uh, machine high rows. I love those things. And um, heavy dumbbell rows are good too. I like these. So uh, I'll do nine sets of these. Well, actually, it'll be pull-ups, I'll consider that like three sets, you know, then I'll do six more sets of something from this, this list here, down here. And then of course, I'm going to follow up with biceps and I'm going to focus on uh, dumbbell work. I love dumbbell work for arm work, especially biceps, um, hammer curls. I like to start with hammer curls, uh, dumbbell neutral to supinated curls, and then, um, dumbbell fully supinated curls, easy curl bar, uh, straight bar curls, um, but nine sets in the eight to 12 rep range following my back work. There you go, day three, back and biceps. Okay, let's finish up this four day workout split with, believe it or not, day four, shoulders and calves. Now on my six day workout split, I would do shoulders differently than this. I would do front delts on chest day, rear delts on back day, and side delts on arm day. But today, this in this particular workout split, I'm going to have a dedicated shoulder day. And this is going to be kind of an easier day. Um, and again, the shoulder work is going to deviate just a hair from my 8 to 12 rep uh, requirement <laughs> rule. Uh, well, ex with the exception of the dumbbell overhead presses, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, make sure I do dumbbell overhead presses uh, on each of my shoulder days. Um, these are pretty effective for me too. I'm gonna do those in the eight to twelve rep range. Now, some of these other uh, like lateral raises, for example, I'm gonna do in the fifteen to twenty rep range. I think it's more effective in a higher rep range with the lateral raises, front raises, that kind of thing. Uh, reverse flies for my rear delts. Um, front raises, variations, using a kettlebell or dumbbells, um, any of these type, these three here, lateral raises, reverse flies, front raises, 15 to 20 rep range. Same with face pulls. Um, that's it. That's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward shoulder day. And again, I'll finish up shoulder day with some calf work. Again, three sets of 20 to 30 reps. Again, that's outside my, my 8 to 12 rep range rule, but uh, I think my calves uh, respond better to higher reps. So there you go, day four, shoulders and calves. All right, there you have it. My current four-day workout split. Just a high-level approach, um, um, high-level overview of that. Not a lot of details, but it gives you the basic structure of it. And as I said, uh, on any given workout for me, I will adapt and, and adjust as I go. It depends on what I feel like doing that day, how I feel, so forth and so on. But the basic structure is gonna remain the same. It's gonna be legs, chest, back, shoulders, with some calf work in there. And the general rule is gonna be eight to 12 reps. It's gonna deviate a little bit, as you saw, and uh, nine sets per body part or thereabouts, and I'm gonna rotate through this twice. So it's gonna be like eight workouts, then on the ninth day, take a rest day, take a real rest day. And even that will, uh, will uh, you know, I'll adapt that too as I go along. If my schedule's askew, as I say, or, or uh, if I'm tired, I'll move that rest day. But it's all, it's all malleable. But that's the basic structure of, her, of it. And as I said, I'm deviating a little bit from my old six day workout program because I'm gonna take squats and deadlifts out of the program for a while. So the six day program is more strength oriented, whereas this four day program is gonna be more hypertrophy, uh, muscle building, fitness type work. Um, and again, as I said, uh, I do 
a lot of huffing and puffing in my workouts. I track my heart rate as I'm doing my workouts and I'm always in between, I mean, as I'm doing my sets, my heart rate is generally in the 130, 140 range. I let it go down a bit and then jump into the next set. So, you know, I'm doing a lot of work there and incorporated with that work, I do my cardio, which is my walking. And I think it's a pretty complete workout program for right now. And I'll probably do this for another three months or so, seeing how I feel, see if my equilibrium issue uh, stabilizes. And if it does, I'll try to jump back into squats and deadlifts again. Again, as I said, uh, on leg day, I'll try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in some front squats. Um, I dabbled in that a little bit a few days ago. And uh, the first day of those, the first session of those, I'm gonna record it. It should be kind of comical but I'm gonna show you how it goes. Anyway, that's long enough for today. Just wanted to show that to you. And if you have any questions, comments, or insights, uh, critiques, let me know, love to hear it. And with that, I will say, till next time, go get them, mark out.